For more than 15 years, the Aviation Weather Center website, often referred to as ADS or just by its URL, aviationweather.gov, has been one of the most useful and visited online weather resources for GA pilots. In 2014, the site underwent a major redesign, gaining a primarily graphical user interface and more user-friendly navigation in general. When you look at weather, you can zoom in and zoom out, and data, a more or less data, will apply or be visual based on your, your zoom level. So it gives you more of a, uh, the user more of a control of how they see and how the displays are, are interacting with them. The first thing you see when you open the site is the overview map. At its default settings, the map provides an at-a-glance look at significant weather for the entire country. MVFR and IFR conditions, SIGMETs, center weather advisories, and PIREPs for ice and turbulence. Other items, like radar and satellite images, can be layered on top, and individual items can be clicked to bring up details. You can set favorites so that every time you go to the website, you see the website in the same way. You can set controls for, you can have satellite and radar overlaid on every map you look at, or not, or one or the other. The same map window can also be dedicated solely to TAFs, METARs, PIREPs, SIGMETs, and AIRMETs, each customizable using controls at the bottom of the map. There's too much information on the site to discuss here, but it's worth pointing out a couple of other items. First, the current and forecast icing product maps, SIPs and FIPS, which were once considered experimental, have now gone mainstream and are available on the site. Along with pilot reports and air mets, these can make it easier to understand the actual extent of icing conditions. Likewise, the aviation forecast discussion is a behind-the-scenes peek at what's on forecasters' minds. Their commentary on current and future weather, sometimes as far as several days out, can provide helpful context in tricky weather situations. So it's become a lot more user-friendly uh, if you take the time to learn what the capabilities and the tools are, and I think that's going to really help a lot of pilots kind of plan and see what the big picture is or where the pitfalls may be in the forecast so that when they are getting that verbal briefing, they can ask more intelligent questions from the briefer about what may happen or what some of the alternate scenarios may be. If you haven't visited lately, be sure to check out aviationweather.gov sometime soon and keep an eye out for new applications and information down the road.